here today we are welcoming the arrival of Tano, the silky roo. Yes, hi Rocky. The silky roo. We needed to new find a new find some new digs. Oh hi guys. And yeah, he's just arrived. So he's literally just gotten out of the car and is exploring for the first time. So I'm gonna give intermittent updates to see how he's doing, but yeah. His first moment in the new area. All right, so part two of our travels today, of our journey, is that we drove, not very far, but we drove to Kyala to go pick up some stuff that we uh, purchased through the clearing sales, which is John's uh, and Fast My becoming pretty cool favourite thing to do, is to find out what we can pick up secondhand, get a bit of a bargain. So it's hard to see what's on here. Got a Sorry? Our neighbours got us up. Oh, it is our neighbours' fault. They're the ones who told us about it and they assured us that we would get very excited and it's happened, right? So, yeah, today so far we've picked up a heap of assorted pine posts, treated pine posts, and in amongst there you can't see it properly, but there is a picnic table, which I'm very excited about. So, yeah, cool, cool. <coughs> so, just in case anyone was wondering where I am, in with the roosters. <coughs> I just wanted to talk to everybody about the other part of our day. So, you know, you would have seen we picked up um, Tano, the rooster before, and I'll go back and I'll give you a bit of an update on where he's sitting at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're here. Um, we have another new rooster. He's named Red. And he is here to be a companion for um, Hicks because sadly Hicks, his bestie, his roommate, um, Priest, who we rescued not too long ago, who was in here with him, he passed away very suddenly. It was a very hot day and we were keeping a very close eye on everyone and everyone had water and shelter. But yeah, when we came to check on him, he had passed. So uh, we didn't want uh, Hicks to be alone in his area. I mean, he is surrounded by roosters. So he's not alone alone, but we wanted him to have his own roommate and then, and then it gives us a chance to rescue another rooster as well. So hard to see them because they're in here and you know as they do they are fighting a little bit because that's how they establish a hierarchy between the two of them but here's hicks and here's red and as you can see they're both a solid size rooster which is what we were hoping to find that you know obviously we can... oh knock it off my link you know to find a rooster that was going to be an, an equal match you know so that one isn't at risk from the other so yeah Everybody, please welcome Red. <laughs> Hi, Red. And Hicks is still trying to figure out what he thinks about it. They are doing a little shimmy dance with each other. R obviously, Hicks is going to try and teach him. He's the boss. So, yeah. Anyway, stay tuned. Hey, everyone. Very noisy over here today. You know what? I think the guinea fowl don't like my hat. I better take it off. You, got, you guys don't like my hat, hey? It's a bad hat, is it? I like it. Anyway. So I thought I'd come back over to the main run and just give a little update on what's happening with Tano. So we let Tano out to mix with everybody, but uh, as, we had to go out for a few hours and do stuff and I didn't feel overly comfortable leaving him with everybody because the turkeys were just showing a little bit too much interest. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, so we have Rudy. Whoops. Rudy's in convalescing at the moment because he's had a bit of a limp on and off. It tends to get better. But then the, the roosters were picking on him, so um, we decided to bring him in here so he could properly rest for a bit. And uh, we popped Tano in with him, and these two are such beautiful little babies, aren't you, Rudy? They're just like little sweethearts. There's no, there's no fighting. There's no hierarchy in here. They're just like, oh, don't look at me. Oh, no, don't touch me. Very sweet little things, aren't you? What do you think, Tano? What do you think of your new roomie? So, you know, our chat plans are forever evolving. Forever. There's going to be a mix-up with things um, happening in the paddocks as well, which I'll talk about later. But for now, what we're thinking is, while Rudy's convalescing, while Tano's getting used to everybody, that we might replicate this enclosure here. So we made that out of two of these... Um, garden in bed thing so you've got one there and we're thinking we'll extend it out so those two can hang out in there and I want them to become besties and when and then when Rudy's you know recovered and he's walking better 
then they can both come out together and they'll be friends and they'll have each other for support. Guys, knock it off, everyone. Please, hello, Franz. You're very handsome. Little Franzi, the frizzle. He's doing really well. You can't tell, but his feathers are starting to grow back. He was picked on where he lived before. He's, you're very handsome. I don't know if anyone can see, he's got really long spurs on the back of his legs because he's about two, aren't you, Franz? Yeah, everyone's just like, Ooh, what's going on? Did she bring food? Not at the moment, guys. Hi, Rocky. <coughs> yeah, and it was really funny because um, the two little world's smallest little roosters, there's one there, I don't know where his mate's gone. But anyway, I would have thought, like, they're no, oh, here he is, up there. I would have thought they're no issue at all with the new rooster, but yeah, they are little, like little, little volleyballs they just round themselves up and then like boom just bang into you like that's what they were doing with him and then they're not going to hurt him it was just pretty funny to watch actually they're just so little but yeah and uh yeah we've got our heathers here and where is she here over here again i don't know if you can see but her feathers are finally starting to grow back we're so excited it seemed to take forever i thought it wasn't going to happen you know but they, like there really aren't that many roosters in here they're not really being harassed Rocky kind of isn't on his game as much as he was before. <laughs> Sorry, you're right. You have a lot of women to tend to when it gets exhausting. I get it. Anyway, so they've all had, you know, time to really recover, which is great. Hi, Holly. Yeah, sorry. Again, I am waffling on. Just wanted to let everyone know what we've been up to today. Hey, guys. Hi, Matt. Yeah, so two new roosters. And uh, yeah, like I said, watch this space, everyone.